Hi, I'm Richard, and in this quick start video, I'm going to show you how to make this animation using KSketch's real time animation techniques. Let's start by creating a new animation and drawing everything as it appears in the beginning of the scene. Draw the ground, the ramp, and the car. Now I'll select the car by holding the Alt key and drawing a loop around it. That makes the object handle appear on top of the car. I didn't get the position of the car quite right, so I'm going to grab it by the center move region and position it. There we go. Now I'm going to record the jumping motion of the car in real time. To do that, I'm going to hold the Alt key and grab the handle by this donut-shaped region, which I call the steer region. See how the steer region has turned red? That means that the moment my pen touches the screen, KSketch will start recording. So I'm going to try to do this in one quick stroke. Okay. Now I'll rewind by pressing this button and play by pressing go. Great. Now I'm going to make the car explode after it crashes. To do that, I just have to move the time slider to the point of the crash, like so, and erase the car. We'll grab the eraser. If I touch the eraser outside the object handle, the car will be deselected. Now I'll grab the red pen and draw an explosion on top of it. That explosion is just a quick flash, so I need to make it disappear just after it appears. I'm going to go forward one frame by touching this button, grab the eraser, erase the explosion, grab the black pen, and draw a pile of rubble. Let's have a look. Rewind and go. All right. Now to add the plane, I go to the point in time when I want the plane to appear. Drag the time slider, and I'll draw the plane. To make it fly, first I'll select it, draw a loop, and I'll hold Alt and grab it by the center move region. The moment my pen touches the screen, the car is going to start to move. So I'll have to time it so the plane goes under the car. Okay. Now, if I mess up, I just undo and try again. Okay. Now, once it reaches the edge of the screen, I want it to disappear. So I'll just grab the eraser and erase it. Let's see what we've got. Rewind and play. Great! Give it a try yourself and let us know how it goes. You can find more information at www.ksketch.org.